to... Uh, Tammy, just try to refresh your memories about this magical word. P. P, I think the question is the person can you please have an echo? Oh. <laughs> Can I just ask you to concentrate two minutes about so often? We're going to see some, some clips on here of people in my church, you know, many people in uh, some of the new ladies who've been acting in preparation for this please, please day, called Please Day. First of all, I didn't know this, I listened to the origins of please. It comes from a shortened version of if you please, because in most languages, please actually means something that you're happy with. For example, in Greek, parakalo means please. But you also say it, if I give you something, uh, you say thank you. I say parakalo, which means it pleases me. It's like you're welcome. Now, in other languages, for example, in French, if you please, still can play. Obviously, if you please, if it pleases you, do it for me. So it's become short to over the years. The people now just say please. Or you also say it. Here in L, please. L. Louder, Taylor. Learn to use your manners. Now, one of the problems we have in what we call inflected languages, it's a big word, I know, is that please isn't so necessary. Now, English is not so inflected. So we have you, and you say you for one person or you for many people. But in a lot of your languages, like in Polish especially, or in Urdu or Punjabi, you have a lot of the politeness is embedded in the way you speak, so you can ask for things without saying please. In fact, in Urdu, there is no word for please. In fact, the word for please in Urdu is please. So, <laughs> so it's embedded in the way you speak. I'll have to read this out. You might say unkanamkia, which is, I'm not saying it's just an Asian thing, we're coming back to that in a minute, but, uh, and then uskanamkia, the two polite ways of saying his name is, or their name is. And if you're trying to, trying to be polite, you'll say their name is. In a similar way, you're talking about an old man or an old woman, your grandmother, grandfather, you would say they instead of he. A lot of you know this. This is in Urdu. Um, but tell me why I'm telling you this story. I went to somebody's house recently and I was sitting down eating, I was a guest, and the grandfather came in, the old man came in, and obviously because I knew the social etiquette, Jabu, etiquette is. Um, the right way of saying things. And the doing right things. way of saying something over here. Etiquette. I should have done that PowerPoint. Sorry. <laughs> etiquette. Have you heard it before? No. no. It's the right way of doing something. Thank you, Chabu. I, I thought, well, I know the culture. I know the, the Muslim culture. I'll stand up and I went over to shake hands with him. But I've been eating curry. I've curry all over my fingers. What do you do? What's the social etiquette? Does anybody know? You keep your wrist. So just give me your hand. And just to sh not your wrist, your wrist. <laughs> so I shook hands with my wrist. It's, a, it's something I could easily not have known, but I was used to the culture. So I gave my wrist, Roman. It looks ridiculous, but he was happy. Why did I do it? What's the connection? What's the connection with using please? Go on. It's respect. It's good manners, isn't it? Right. Okay. Where are we next? Uh, give me an E, please. Who's E? of good manners. Right. In Japan, do you know what they do with good manners? You've seen them doing it, yeah? Bowing. They're bowing all the time. If you don't bow, it's bad manners. In Makaton, which is a language for people with uh, speech problems, they, they use this to say please. It's a bit like bowing. It's a bit like showing that 